support the companies that support our community. So about a year ago, we get home and this is sitting on our front porch. My aunt had found it at a yard sale. There's actually another piece to it too. It used to be a coffee table and she found it, it had broken in half and they were just selling selling the piece of wood, I think for like five or 10 bucks. But it's just beautiful wood. It is a little bit punky in some spots, but the resin took care of that and soaked it all down. So original plan was we wanted to put it on the off-center jig and turn two little cups down on the end of it. Kind of the serving platter you can put salsa and, and uh, guacamole in one end and then the chips in the in the bowl part but it's too big for the lathe I don't have an outboard tool rest so I can't do it so I decided I wanted to still want to do it so we went with the Arbor Tech and I just hot glued on a little waste block there to hang on to it while I was shaping the bottom of it but it's just beautiful has some great natural voids and I did that Crater Lake blue for the inlay in it I put three coats on each side. The wood had some really punky spots, so it kept soaking it up. What I did is I put two coats on the bottom, flipped it over, and then started working on the top because I knew I was gonna do that, the inlay with the, with the colored resin. And then I flipped it over when I was all done and put the final coat on the bottom. So, quick tip. I don't recommend it, and I'm sure Stone Co. doesn't recommend it either, but on the the blue part there where I dyed that, I poured that pretty thick, and it was it's not something you're supposed to do really, but what I did is I just kept pouring it, I don't know, maybe quarter of an inch thick, and it's supposed to be a lot thinner than that. It heats up 
pretty fast and I was a little worried because when I poured the first coat on that tape got really warm and I thought it was gonna kind of melt through but I was really surprised it's just painters tape and it held and it didn't bleed out too much on the bottom of it either so our original idea was to we went and got little cups little serving cups and I was going to cup out a little spot over here and a little spot over here that these would recess down into for a little serving tray but I just it's just a beautiful piece of wood and super happy with how it came out so this one here it actually had some wood right there so I wasn't gonna do anything with it and then once I started looking at it I realized you could kind of fill it up one of the I, one of the places I love or the slot can is down in the page and I love that look it kind of looks like the slot canyon so I filled it up until it just started to pour over that so it looked like a water coming out the side of it but just beautiful piece of wood and again thank you Carla that's my aunt that gave me that